Welcome to the weekly dose of Amuna for Shabbat Kodesh. This week we're going to talk about Shabbat being a day of peace within. Let's look at the day of Shabbat and let's see how it's a day of harmony. A day in which opposites have to merge with one another and have to get along. You see, on Shabbat Kodesh there's no distractions. There's no iPhones, there's no television sets, there's no radio to listen to. There's me in front of my family in front of those members that I choose to spend Shabbat with. If it's not directly with my family, then my friends, my neighbors, I must interact with others. It's a day where I get to discover the good in everybody and, of course, the good in myself. And that is what Shalom is. Shalom is perfection between opposites. Shalom comes from the word Shlemut. And Shlemut means perfection, completeness, wholesomeness. And when I stop on Shabbat Kodesh, I can see that. I can see the work that stands in front of me and I can understand that I need to merge and live in harmony with others. There's a a very well-known pasuk in Tehillim 38, um, verse, um, verse 4. It goes, En shalom ba'atzamai mipnei chatati. Sins cause us distance because what does the Pasuk say? I lack in- internal peace on account of my sins. What does sins in essence do to us inside of us? When I have this baggage of mine that I call transgressions and I haven't cleansed it out from myself, I haven't let it go, it ends up causing a heavy weight on my shoulders. In other words, when I have so many transgressions that I haven't confronted, that I haven't done shuva with, what ends up happening is it pulls me down, it weighs me down, and I lack what what Tehillim David Melech, you know, so uh, wisely put it, I lack internal peace. I can't have peace within. And then when I go to confront others, I feel myself being heavy, weighed down. I feel guilty. I feel like I'm lacking this wholesomeness. And so that's why it's suggested and wise, if possible, to strive to do some tshuva, a lot, some time every week before Shabbat, to do some tshuva, to look at the past week. I mean, it's most wiseable to do it every day, but realistically, some don't have the time, even five minutes a day. That's the best. But if we can't, then let's make time once a week, Thursday night, Friday morning, 10 minutes, to sit down and do some tshuva so that when we confront our spouse, when we confront our children, we can look at them with internal internal peace and then be able to, of course, radiate radiate that peace outward. And so that's shalom within and shalom without. It's so important to do this step. It's so important because I have to, on Shabbat, meet the others. There's no choice. There's nowhere for me to run. There's nowhere for me to hide. Yes, behind the cover of a book, but technically I have to confront those that I'm sitting at the table with. And so the Zohar Kadosh says that Shabbat Kadosh can be either the best day of the week or the worst day of the week, chas v'shalom. It's the best day of the week if I'm able to elevate myself, if I'm able to understand that I'm going to be confronting those around me that might push my buttons, that being that I have to sit with them and confront with different personalities, they may get to me. But if I've done shuva, I can understand that that's part of what I'm going to be dealing with. And then Shabbat Kodesh becomes a day of immense work, but immense reward. And that's the taste of Olam Abba, tasting that reward, tasting that elevation. Or, God forbid, it could be the opposite, as the Zohar Kadosh says. It could be the worst day of the week. It could be a day where I'm trying to come out and uplift myself from my nature, but I'm not able to because I haven't done the work to prepare myself. So, Be'ezrat Hashem, let's do the work before Shabbat. Be'ezrat Hashem, let us be able to do that internal cleansing, clean ourselves off from the sins, have this internal peace, and be able to radiate that to others sitting at the table as well. And have a truly Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom to everybody.